and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting Christmas Eve video for you. We were tagged by Stacey's Pet Mice to film the furry friend Christmas tag. We've been given nine questions, so thank you Stacey for tagging us in this and we hope you enjoy. And I'm wearing a Santa hat by the way. <laughs> so the first question is, when do you start getting excited about buying your pet's Christmas presents? I think it's all year with me. Like sometimes I'll go to a pet shop in the middle of summer and I'll be like, now should I give this to Rosie now or should I save it for Christmas? So I'm one of those people that just buys Christmas presents all year round and saves them until Christmas. But the main time when I start getting really festive and like spendy, if that's the word, is probably towards the end of November and the middle of December. Do you get your pets a Christmas advent calendar? I don't get Rosie a Christmas advent calendar because I haven't really found one that doesn't contain dairy because a lot of the small pet ones they're like chocolatey kind of ones and Rosie and rabbits in general can't have dairy things so I've never bought a Christmas advent calendar before. Do you have any funny Christmas memories? There was one time when Rosie jumped into the Christmas tree. <laughs> Before Rosie free ranged in her room, we used to have a real Christmas tree. Rosie, not in the shot. And one time Rosie thought it would be fun, we were like sitting on the sofa, and Rosie thought it would be fun to jump in the Christmas tree, and she actually did. And yeah, she did fall out of it. So I think that's one of the reasons why we've never had another one. There's like other reasons as well, like we had new furniture and Rosie started free ranging. So talk us through your Christmas day. I usually wake up between nine and half past nine, and then I open my gifts with the family, and then I go into Rosie and I give her her gifts, and then I film her opening presents, of course, because you guys really enjoy these sorts of videos. Well this year my family is coming round for their Christmas lunch and then I think they'll go home and then they're coming back for a buffet at night time and we'll stay awake till like, <laughs> I don't know, stupid o'clock in the morning and food is involved and alcohol is involved and we just have a great time really and then have another lunch on Boxing Day as well so it's like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, the day after Boxing Day, it's all Christmas themed and we go around to people's houses and we have like buffets and things like that and Rosie gets involved as well, she comes in on Christmas night and Christmas Eve Rosie actually comes in the house every single night but we try and make it special What food do your pets get for Christmas Day? I didn't really go too over the top with Rosie's food, like she can't have our Christmas lunch of course. She has like hay cookies or I'll make her a fruit salad. She doesn't really have anything very special, just a treat or something like that. Do you have any Christmas traditions? I don't personally have a Christmas tradition. I think like Christmas traditions is like the, the traditional Christmas lunch, we do all that stuff. We open our gifts in the morning, we visit family. My tradition with Rosie is that we film her opening Christmas presents and upload them to YouTube. What's the most exciting Christmas present you've bought for your pets? I think that the most exciting one was last year when I bought Rosie that huge fire vet box just full of stuff and she jumped into it. I, I loved that, that was my favourite one. Do you wrap up your pets' presents? I always wrap up Rosie's Christmas presents because I know that she loves opening paper in general and yeah she just loves it so I always wrap up her Christmas presents. Do you place your pet's presents under the Christmas tree? I don't put them under the Christmas tree, Santa Paws does and then when Santa Paws has put them under the Christmas tree I'll take them to Rosie after I've opened my gifts and then she'll open her gift. So, yeah, to answer the question, they do go under the Christmas tree. <laughs> so thank you so much to Stacey for tagging us in the Furry Friend Christmas tag. We hope you enjoyed. And I am struggling on people to tag, so I tag any of you who are watching this video and want to film this. You don't have to ask, just go ahead and film it. We hope you have an amazing Christmas and we will see you again in our next video. Bye!